uh, find out a uh, rational proposal format for you. Okay? So as you are a student of 4 year, right? You are not even doing masters or PhD or something like that. Okay? So what we can expect from you that to make CG this uh, the project of the research proposal, right? So we would like to try to impose too much burden. You know, just for writing the research or the thesis uh, proposal or the project proposal. So this, uh, I mean, you have how many credits you have? I mean, for this, uh, it's allotted for the project and thesis. Six, right? Six, three plus three is six. So you are hardly getting um, three hours a week to conduct your, uh, you know, to spend some time on for this project, right? It's not too much. So, uh, and initially, what we have, we are actually uh, experienced. What we have experienced that you are not coming to the, uh, you know, teacher, you know, for in past, it's in past six months. Then you know, before uh, the end of the final term, I mean, the fourth two, you you are busy, too much busy to yes. start, uh, uh, finish your project first. So. It just in order to impose some restrictions and rules so that we can regulate you, you know, and put power. And so we just try to improvise that you have to first write a research proposal. And you should uh, make it uh, within the first two months or in the first uh, month, with the first month of the uh, beginning of the uh, uh, level of term, right? So this is actually a format I just proposed. This is not final. I cannot say it is proposed. It can be modified. But uh, based on the teacher's uh, lectures, that what she uh, delivered, that the content that you have is what should be, I mean, it should be formed. Okay? So, what these are actually the format you can see. This, this is just like uh, it's a university name, address. So, this is the application. Research proposal is a it's a form of sort of applications, right? You are, are writing research proposal. That doesn't mean that it is approved. It's so, okay. So I am your uh, supervisor, right? You just like for example, you are my student. You before are like my students, okay? You are I am your supervisor. So you are going to conduct the research under uh, my supervision. So what what I can expect? So you are proposing something. So before going to the research, you propose me something like that you are interested in, in a specific field and going to conduct a research, right? So you come to me and consult with me and give me some ideas. So this is actually the initial discussions and what we can help with you, right? Then I ask you, okay, you go and study. Go and study and first, what is the first step? To find a title or topic. So before find the title or topic, it has to be matched. What? Based on your the field, I mean the field of your interest. So he is interested on uh, thermal engineering, but he is in uh, applied engineering. So this is not fitting. So you four have to be synchronized and your have a common goal and interest to work. With a specific area, and a, a teacher is also a teacher also should have a specific field of interest of the research, right? If you come to me and would like to do, I would like to do research on uh, control engineering. I said I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not, I, I, I don't belong to this field. Okay, so this you have to know and find a proper teacher that which if field of interest suits suits with you. Okay, now first teacher said that. Research proposal starts with a title, right? So, what teacher said there? Title should be start with some verbs or action verbs, right? So, look, here it is. Uh, I, I, I propose some. Title of the research, right? So, it 